So check it out. I went grocery shopping. Ayo. 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 Good morning, everybody. So we are off to Dubuque today to go get some groceries. A lot of groceries. It is a bare refrigerator. I did the refrigerator cleaning I told you guys last night. Yeah, we definitely need to fill it. But it's negative four degrees, you guys, and that's without the wind chill. So what is it with the wind chill? Well, when I got up at about seven, the wind chill was negative 33. Yeah. It is beautiful today. <laughs> and it's gonna be colder tomorrow. I'm ready to head down south. That's what I'm ready to do. <laughs> it's, it's very, very cold. No. guys so I'm in my pajamas it has been not a good day for vlogging so I was gonna vlog when we were in the stores because normally I'll take you guys shopping with us the stores were so packed like I think I was starting to get a panic attack walking through the aisles there were people everywhere I don't remember the last time I've seen a store that busy every place we went was that busy like people were running into people with their cards it was insane but I gotta show you so you remember all that menu planning and stuff I did? So check it out guys, I went grocery shopping. So this I have to split up yet. When we buy our meat, I try to buy it in bulk because it's actually cheaper. So that's a 10 pound roll, I believe, that I have back there. And then we have some ham left over from our Christmas dinner. We're gonna make New Year's scalp potatoes and ham. I made the kids couscous tonight and Matt picked me up these today these are awesome so I have not had storage containers in a very long time and I finally have a set again which I've so needed because it's hard to store leftovers especially in my fridge I am in desperate need of a new fridge we have broken drawers and pieces that have fallen off so I am in need of one but we have couscous and chicken tonight and then I made vanilla and chocolate pudding and then we did a lettuce salad for dinner we get the taco shreds or like the lettuce shreds for tacos and stuff like that. But then I buy head lettuce and this was so awesome. I have not gone to Sam's Club in a very long time. And I went there today just to see if maybe it'd be worth it for our family again. This was awesome. I was able to get four heads of lettuce for the price of two. And then tomorrow night, this is part of our New Year's Eve celebration. We're having a big party with the kids. So check this out, you guys. So this is how I buy cheese. And I got some regular Ziploc bag so I could split it up. I buy the big block of sliced cheese where it's pre-sliced, but you get a huge block. And I think this had 160 pieces of cheese. So we have tons of sliced cheese. We're gonna do grilled cheese and stuff tomorrow. And we're doing some deli sandwiches this week. I ended up getting five things of sour cream. I think four things of stick butter, but I freeze my stick butter. It takes up less room in the refrigerator and then I just leave one of the boxes out. This is for tomorrow night's dinner. These are for tomorrow night's dinner. And this chip dip is for tomorrow night's dinner. But look at this, I got all kinds of stuff for our meal planning. I'm really excited to share with you guys what I have planned for this, this week. But I've got yogurts back there. I asked each of the kids, so there's two different times that they'll have yogurt, and I asked them each which flavor they'd like, and I just picked them up the flavors that they chose. Um, this is how we shop for eggs, you guys. 60 eggs I was able to get, um, and it was like five bucks for 60 eggs, so that's not bad at all. And then, of course, shredded cheese I buy in the big bulk pack. I actually was able to get this at Sam's Club, and it was way cheaper. And then we have a few deli sandwich things coming up. So I was able to get this two pack at Sam's, super cheap, which was nice. Because deli meat is normally really expensive and it's not something I pick up a lot because it's just not budget friendly. And this was the way to go. It was so much more budget friendly and makes for some nice easy lunches, especially with school starting back up for the kids. And then we've got cranberry sauce for one of our dinners. I've got a Parmesan way back there. 
And then I'm trying out a new flavor of coffee creamer because this was only a dollar and eighty cents, you guys. And my other one's almost three. So I'm gonna try something new and see if I can save a little bit of money that way. And then I did pick up two gallons of milk, and as you can see, I made two things of pudding tonight, so we've already gone through that. That was just for making pudding for the family. Um, so we'll go through a lot more than that in the week. And we did have some leftover eggs, which is why I have one like that. I picked up two packages of bagels for this week for our family. And then I've also got whipped cream, and there's a couple meals that'll actually, breakfast tomorrow will require that. And then this was great, I was so excited. Not the butter. I was excited about this in the back, you guys. Look at this. So this is cottage cheese and sour cream, and these are in three pound tubs. This was something else I was able to get at Sam's, and I was like, it was so much cheaper. All right, and for fresh vegetables this week, or fresh fruits this week, I picked up oranges, some regular red apples. Those were the best deal this week. I normally like to get Fuji, but they were kind of pricey this week, and I wanted to be able to make sure to get them lots of fresh fruit here in the house. So I picked up the regular red apples, the red delicious. This was a great deal. Blackberries were on sale for 79 cents a piece, and I wanted to do strawberries on top of um, French toast this week, but strawberries were super expensive. It was like almost $4 for a thing of strawberries. I was able to get four things of blackberries, which will do two breakfasts for us, and maybe then some, because some of the kids aren't really big into blackberries, and the ones that aren't, they just won't have their French toast top that way, um, but they'll probably take the cool whip. Um, so this will do even some snacky food for the kids this week, and I was able to get these four for the same price of one thing of strawberries, which I thought was awesome. This is something that I tried uh, this week, and it actually was super good. We normally go with Hidden Valley Ranch, and this was Walmart's brand, and it was very comparable to it, So, and the price was way better. Now this, this bottle is so tiny, look at that, eight ounces. So normally I buy Jumbo in our house, but this is just for Zane. He is the only one, well, I'll eat Western once in a while, but this is his favorite, so we got him a little tiny bottle, and this will last him for quite a few months of salads. All right, so this was one of the things I picked up that's in my freezer food, a giant bag of hash browns. Our kids love hash browns, so we'll make these on the griddle with some of our breakfast this week. And then I wanna do BLTs, so I picked up a big thing of bacon. And then I got this huge bag of chicken breasts. I don't even know how many pounds it was. I think it's like seven pounds of chicken breasts. And I got these at Sam's Club. And they were super cheap. It was under $10 for these. And then the other thing that I got that I put in the freezer besides my butter is these Vermont maple premium sausages. So I picked up two packs and these will do two breakfasts for us. All right, so now we are up in Mama's baking cupboard. So I picked up, we're gonna do little Smokies tomorrow for our supper, and I picked up two things of barbecue sauce. I don't know if I'll need them both, so I put one on the spare shelf up here, and then if I don't use it, then I'll just have extra for another dinner. And then, you guys, when I have chips for a meal, because we wanna do homemade pizza night, if I leave these in the cupboard, down below they will get eaten and then we will not have them to make our pizza so i put all that kind of stuff up in this upper cupboard so it's not gotten into because sometimes we have chips for snacks but when we're actually using them for a specific meal i don't want them to get into them and then we got two bags of lays this is for tomorrow's dinner but it's up for the night because sometimes i have some late night snackers that come down and that way they'll be more apt to look in the fridge for leftovers to eat instead of eating up the stuff we have for dinner tomorrow. Okay, and then in this cupboard, oh wait, no, I forgot to show you guys, so check it out. I don't know if I told you, but I was, I'm never out of brown sugar in my house, and I was completely out. Look at this bag of brown sugar, it's huge. It's seven pounds of brown sugar. I got it for four bucks, and it's refillable, which is awesome, because then it won't get, I don't know if you've ever had the brown sugar get hard, but it won't get hard. Okay. And then, I told you guys I had some muffin mix, I think, when I was inventorying my cupboards, but the one thing my kids really like are these wild berry muffins. So, I had some like mix-matched muffins. I had like apple cinnamon and one thing of lemon poppy seed, and it normally takes to feed our family breakfast making four of these muffins. 
these bags of muffins. So I mixed and matched. So one day we're gonna do like all wild berry with one chocolate chip because Ireland does not like anything but chocolate chip muffins. And then the next time we're gonna do one chocolate chip, a blueberry, a lemon poppy seed, and a wild berry. So my menu planning went really well and the cupboards went really well until I came to the tomato soup for some reason. I forgot I had tomato soup, I guess. I don't know. So now I have an overstock of tomato soup. I have about 12 cans. So I don't need to buy any for a while, but at least we've got some back stock. I picked up tomato soup, chicken noodle soup, um, a couple cans of cream of mushroom because I'm going to make some shepherd's pie this week, some baked beans. That'll be for another dinner. I picked up a lot of canned fruits too because I like to pop those out at lunches. So we've got pears, peaches, um, more peaches. I think I have one more can of peaches. So I should have four cans of peaches and then a can of fruit cocktail and some cranberry sauce because not all the kids like fruit cocktail which is why I got this I got a 24 pack of these at Sam's you guys and it was way cheaper than buying mandarin oranges um, at the regular grocery store so this was part of their lunch when I got home today was the mandarin oranges and now we'll make this also some of their lunch meals. So I'll show you how the menu planning goes this week and what I've done with it as I go through it. And I didn't pick up any vegetables because for one, I have plenty here. Um, I won't need anything. I've got a ton of peas and green beans and corn. Plus I have a bunch of frozen corn that I want to use up. So I'm actually going to use the bag of frozen corn I have for two meals this week. All right, guys, and then I did pick up another one of these, but I think we accidentally left it in the car when Matt was bringing groceries in. That or it's in the foyer, and I just didn't see it. I'm going to have to go double check. But this is how we buy our pancake mix. All you have to do is add water with these, and the pancakes turn out awesome. And, like, this one makes 270 pancakes. I'm not sure how much the one I got from Sam's Club makes, but I know it makes a lot of pancakes. So I did get a new one of those because we were really low on it. And then I got two more pizza crusts because, like I said, we're going to make homemade pizza this week. And some Ritz crackers for tomorrow's supper. And then I picked up a second jar of pizza sauce. I already had one, so I picked up another one because we'll need two for our homemade pizza. And then I picked up some saltines. So I got two boxes of those because, like I said, we're going to have soups and stuff like that this week. So we'll need those. And then up here, this is where I keep a lot of my mixes. So I needed some more taco mix. I only had one. We picked up a couple of those. And then we picked up a ranch mix because I'm going to make some cracked chicken this week. And a chili mix because believe it or not, I'm making some meatloaf. And I use this in my meatloaf. And it is really good. It tastes more like pizza than it does like meatloaf. And for my menu planning, you guys, I just wrote it out on a sheet of paper and hung it up on the refrigerator. And... I'm pretty excited to share with you guys what we did for our menu planning this week. All right, guys, so I am pretty excited because tomorrow we are having a New Year's Eve party here at home with the kids. There's no way we would go out anywhere. It is so cold. It's going to be, I don't even know, I think tomorrow it's supposed to be still down in the negatives and several days yet this week. So this is going to be my morning project along with getting dishes done in the kitchen and then we're having a party with the kids.